Hi everyone, welcome to the, my first lesson in C++. It will be about comments, like we will create our first Hello World program in C++. I will explain you everything in like how we create it and uh, the, the things works for what and what is their function and what is their like meaning, you know, I will I will explain you everything correctly and comprehensively and really you will know how the system works okay and after that you will not confuse any time when you use that all right okay let's get started so we want to display out hello world so normally in python you can just write your print and after that you can put your hello world with the strings and it will just display out but in C++, we need to import first something. And after that, we need to create a function, but blah, blah, blah. So a lot of things, but they are really so straightforward. Just let me show you. So first in C++, we starting, let's do with the uh, comments. First, we need to import standard library what means standard, standard library. So if you want to use some function or the, some like something else, like some functions exactly from the standard library, we need to call uh, or we need to import something in our program first in C++, all right? What it means. So we need to import standard library. So it is in iOS stream, okay? What it means, iOS stream, iOS stream means like input, output, stream. Okay, it means input, output, let's say input, output, stream, right? Like input, output, for example. So this is input output library, okay? We have their gene, STD, and blah, 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 something else. But just, we need to import this one to display something out, okay? Let's get started step by step. This is like algorithms, okay? So first, we're saying what, you know? First, we're putting there our hashtag. The hashtag means like we, we want to import something. It means that, okay? So then we need to add there one thing, include, include. What means of include? In Python or in other languages, we're using import. We want to import something and we're using import. In C++, we're using include, okay? We want to include something in our program in VS Code. Um, okay. We just saying like this one, reverse side, and we have many more stuff in here, and we will not use some of them right now. We just saying I use stream, like input output stream, like this is our library. We will import in here, like standard library. Okay. We're just clicking on it and just close that with it okay this is the first step did you understand this is io stream input output stream let's say like standard library You're just bringing input output functions from this library okay all right let's come down now let's continue with another step so what we need so before display out this uh, hello world, we need to include string. Maybe we need it, okay, in some way. Maybe like in VS Code, maybe it is not uh, required sometime, but it will help you if you uh, import it, like include it, okay? We saying include string, like what we did in here. So can you see that? Like we just imported string library all right string library helping us to re write some things in double quotation all right like that if we didn't install this one like if we didn't install that we can't write something like that all right 
it will not work so first we need to install the sky okay let's continue it's a second step so now what we have we have std so what it means std so we don't want to use this standard library as a long long way okay we want to make it short case what it means i will show you so we have cut for example but i can't see that normally we're using that to display things out like that all right sorry just like that and we can put nl1 and one like endl and we can just close it like with a comma but I can't see it. Where is it? It didn't work because we need STD and two times this thing. And after that, count will be there with the working position. So we need also in here this STD each time we need to use to stop these issues, all right? This red color. So what we are doing, we just saying something like that. Let me show you. We just saying um, using namespace, and then we just saying std. This is our short case. Let's think of I don't know if you know about programming in Python. We saying like import matplotlib as plt, like short case plt. It is short case of the standard library. Okay, so which is we already imported, uh, imported like input output stream, which is standard library. Now from uh, from this IO stream, I want to import std. I want to use std. Sorry, not import. I want to use std a short case from io stream library okay just know that all right and let's come here and say for the string we can use string and like like string like double quotation like that and for here we can say we just uh, want to use short case short case of standard library from IO stream you can think like that all right you just want to use short case of standard library like as a as a std let's say as a std from IO stream okay you can think like that so let's continue now we have another step still we can't do it because we need to create a function but the main of this function I will tell you about it okay integer we just saying let's come down first let's say we want to communicate with the operating system like for communicating with the um, operating system we need to we need to create function like main function okay with the integer value function with the Int, int with the int okay because we will send there some numbers and after that operating system will check our uh, numbers it will be with the return or if you didn't use it's okay just i don't want to mix your mind i mean just we saying integer main function just uh calling operating system for integer let's say in like int like that to call operating system i think it is clear i'm not sure we need to create main function with the integer to call operating system yes exactly to call operating system we creating main function so let's come here and say integer 
like int, sorry, not integer, just think like int main and just open your bracket, like parenthesis, sorry, and come down, open your fancy brackets. Fancy bracket means like, let's come down, I will add for the fancy brackets. It means we will, we will start to up, okay? It works for that. If you want, I can add there like that. Okay, this guys. You can note it. So I think we understand. Now let's continue with another step. So what we have right now. So um I want to display out uh like hello world. How I can do that? So first I'm saying cut. Cut. Did you see that? I can use cut. What if I delete this library? Let's try it again. Cut. Where is cut? No cut. Because the cut means, by the way, let me write it next to it. Sorry, up to it. Maybe better. Cut means cut means is means cut mean is character output. This is short case of a character output. Okay. There's no cut means is character output. When we want to display out something, we're using this cut like character output. Look, still it is saying identifier code is undefined. Expected and blah, blah, blah. No, it means not that. Why it didn't work, did you know that? Because it's about this standard library. When I open that and still it, do you think it will work? Yeah, <laughs> because if you didn't use this one, we need to use, look, it's again same. We need to use STD like that. All right. Then we can write our codes like what? Like that. You can say, hello world. Then we can do same thing. And we can, if you want to add there like a new line, let's, let's start with the first step in here. Okay. In, in this case don't add it there let's say and l like that so the code is still same it's saying using namespace std we have already there guys can you see that by the way it means sorry i just mixed up in this case not io stream like open io stream io stream is the full of the library standard library I just close it this using namespace std in this case because it is short case of that. So now we have this guys in here, okay? And we need to add here also std like this way. Now everything will be amazing. Everything will work nice. Now let me explain you what we did in here. Guys, when we ignore this one when we didn't write this using namespace std we need to write each time std before cut before gene before the others so they are all functions like if we want to use this function this function this function like that Guys, we need std, okay? This std in here, we, we, we just said like using namespace std, all right? If you didn't use that, we need to write each time std with this guy. Look, with two double comma up top. I mean, you know, this one. It is crazy, right? I don't want to write these things. I just want to write their card. Then I just want to write these things, okay? I don't want to write each time STD 
like two double like double time this up to up that and you know it is really slave job i don't want to do it for prevent it what we doing guys i told you is we opening this std we just saying using namespace std and we don't need to write like again this std okay just delete this guy from here everything okay in here okay just open that too now let's say again so i will tell you about this one too like this guys too so just we can say and l and l and l means is new line and line it means okay and say here uh and l mean is and line which is like new line okay and this one means like output okay let's say and oh my god where is it all right i don't know what was going on in here so yeah this one so it means uh like let's say means mean is output operator and when it comes like that it will be input operator okay when it look like the right side it will be input when it look like the the left side it will be output okay in this case in this case we just want to display out hello world but if you want to get some information from user in this case we will use different method which is we will use gene so gene means character input let's do let's come here and say gene mean is character input yeah and we're doing same stuff in different way in here so like that we're just saying gene character input and we're using right side this operator because this is input not output okay this is input when it looks like the left side it will be output all right so gene in this case do you want to add there anything like <laughs> do you want it if not because we don't need to do anything like that all right so it is just case i mean i'm just telling you about all right so just we can say gene like dot get let's say gene let's say dot get like that I will not show you about the right side operator but just i want to add here a note like you know uh just make sure this is mean is is input okay just know about that this one again i just want to delete this one from here maybe it will be good with the gene all right gene dot get it is another way just put comma it means gene is our um let's say library okay like library or the like standard library like i have stream or string or whatever else you're talking about like as std and when we say get get means like a function like a main main function but it works for the different things okay and we have like there's some parameter for example parameter one and parameter two all right that's parameter one and parameter two so just i want to show you like about what this uh get like with the parentheses. it means like this is function okay all right so now lastly we saying return zero 
now you will say why we are returning zero why not one why not five why not blah 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 okay okay so to tell the operating system that's right okay to tell the operating system or OS operating system hey everything okay here you you can you can run my code in in any application guys it means that to tell the operating system hey everything okay here you can run my, you can run my code in any applications because operating systems just checking or analyzing your program and just checking uh, if they're everything okay because if you did something like like that it, operating system is coming here and saying what is that where is the a in this case it looks like mean all right let's say looking like that it, it will just say you like hey it is not in i mean just use there some mindly thing we need main right in this case it will give us error you know operating system will tell you like just make it correct if you didn't make it correct i will not run my application right so in this case we just say main right it's just fixing it and saying again our uh, operating system hey all right i fix it and we put in there return zero it means like return null because in binary system we have one and zero one means if like one means for the operating system is issue like problems okay so and we we don't want to do it you know we just everything okay in here we don't have any problems in our codes for that we just saying return zero like hey like operating system everything okay just check my code this one integer main is calling to operating system hey i just created it and i will run the things in here with this operator and return zero is saying hello uh, i already like created my function and i called you are you remember me and the like operating system is saying yeah, yeah i remember you you created there a function and then you just saying okay now i fill it all my codes there and now i am returning this uh, zero means like everything okay in here and operating system is saying you thank you very much to informing me that one and i will make it like there like in application i will run application okay all right it means that okay get is in function in here by the way so i just want to add it there to get is the function we will learn about functions i will teach you about functions for now we don't need okay return zero so okay i think you understand everything you can get screenshot from here and you can just check it later okay now i want to run it how i can run that all right let's come in here now i have a thing in here it says hello world did you see that and it creates in here an exe file did you see that exe is like an application file right I, I want to tell you something about interpreter and compiler languages. So compiler language is analyzing everything at the same time when you run program. I mean, when I run this, to just compiler is just checking everything fastly and just like translating to machine code, to operating system, from operating system to machine code, okay? But in interpreter, interpreter is going line by line okay and just uh it's like it it just works line by line and doing its stuff uh when it comes to other line and it is not faster than compiler okay they have some different business 
it means like compiler is fast and like let's say like C++ is fast and Python to analyzing or the tr translating or to run the codes. And, but the Python has also some different uh, like properties uh, in like in his fields. Okay. You can think like that. All right. Okay. What we said, debug and blah, blah, blah. So in this case, when we run it, it will say hello world, isn't it? So for the run this codes, I think the first one is there. The output looks like that. But uh, we can do one more thing. I mean, let's come here and say run code. What will happen? Yes, it will say hello world. But in terminal, so it will say us like hello world in here, for example. Let's say hello world, not hello world or something like that and save each time and run it hello world in here in output system in vs code it will just give you output when you try to get some input from this gene i mean i will show you later about that okay it will not work in here okay you need to work you need to run it in terminal and how you can do that there is a way we doing it like what you know um we doing it like gcc and then using this one and we just adding file name what what is our file name cpp dot underscore comments right but where we need to do that just delete all these guys Go cd c plus plus tutorial and say introduction okay and now we have here files for example i can check uh, cpp comments right in here where is it i'm just checking <laughs> okay let's come back to the here it's already in here okay yeah you can see now just i need to say gcc and like let's say this one and when we click on it it will create this file and then it's already in here you can see and it will work after we do another thing which means we need to do one more things so we just saying what you know mm, a i remember like a exit is yeah exe means the file name there uh -huh. just let me check it in a minute like in a second or minute i'm not sure so um just you can run this code it is just teeny bit code i don't remember where is that you can just run it like uh, you can say dot and then put it there this one and then you're just saying like a dot examine or the cpp dot sorry not cpp dot yeah cpp dot comments dot exe okay like that run it hello world did you see that it is in the same way in terminal now we can get input from there and we can reply that but in other way from the output it will just give us output but when we want interaction with the c plus plus we need to do it in terminal okay just don't mix your mind i will teach you everything perfectly from scratch just no worry today we did these things okay you learned about how to create your first hello world with cpp comments let's close that the last the second class will be about variable and data types and constants and blah, blah, blah. A lot of things will be there, okay? Thank you so much for joining. See you in another class. If you didn't understand something, please write your comments below of the my YouTube video and like below of the, this class and I will reply you, okay, soon. No worries about that. Have a good day. Thank you. Bye-bye.